Okay, not keen on these lights, not keen on how I've done the lighting today. I feel like you're really far away from me. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Stop saying that. Let's start that one again. Three, two, one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yaz and yeah, that's all there is to it. Basically in today's video, I'm gonna be doing drugstore products that looked like on my face basically. <laughs> Products that basically look rubbish on me, didn't work out for me, um, yeah. Basically I was gonna do products that didn't work out for me and include like some high-end ones as well. Let me just shut that curtain and see if this makes the lighting bad because I keep looking at the camera and I don't know if the lighting looks as great as it could be. Is that a bit too dark? No, hello, main focus of the room. Yeah, so as I was saying, I was gonna include high-end products as well, but let me just dim the lights. Um, I was gonna include high-end products as well, but I only had like six high-end products and like 20 drugstores, so what I'm gonna do is let my high-end products build up and I'll do like a high-end products that didn't work out for me. But for now, it's just pretty much drugstore um, or things that our drugstore price so yes if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video okay so disclaimer these are the primark eyelashes let's just zoom you in these are the primark lashes excuse the brows i really need to get them done so these are in the style kylie you can't really see them. I will say one thing about them that annoys me. They're like straight. They don't like curl up. They are really straight. So I've had to like use my eyelash curlers um, quite a bit, but they still don't really work. Oh. That's them. Um, just kind of want to show you them. They're really nice. They're, they're good. So let's get into the video. You have so much. Like... I actually have quite a bit. I've got palettes, I've got concealers, I've got powders, I've got lipsticks, I've got foundations. Okay, so let's start with palettes. I've only got two of these with me now, but I did have all of them. Uh, I gave them away. These are the W7 palettes. This is In The Buff, Lightly Toasted, and this one, oh, they're both called In The Buff. <laughs> this one's actually called In The Buff Neutral News. This one's In The Buff, Lightly Toasted natural are they okay right i can't read it is in the buff lightly toasted and that's just in the buff they both say natural nudes eye color palette cool so you open them up and i think they're going to be a dupe for the naked palettes this comes off really easy um i think they're meant to be a dupe for the naked palettes i don't actually own any of the naked palettes didn't jump on that bandwagon because none of them really caught my eye and i think with naked palettes you can get so much more for the money i do like the heat one the urban decay heat palette um but the other ones i think they all look similar and you could get such better eyeshadows for the money anyway not ranting or slagging anyone else off. and then here's that one as well I just found, I mean the pigment on these are pretty good for the price point but when they went on the eyes I found when you try to blend them they would either blend away into nothing, wouldn't blend or just go really chalky and also they didn't last like I'd put that gold on my eye I'd go out and I'd have photos with my friends and I'd be like I don't even look like I'm wearing eyeshadow like no they're good if you want to start off like if you're a starter starter if you're just starting off using makeup and eyeshadows they are good but not for me not for me that for me so i think you can buy w7 in b&m savers i don't know if you can buy it in super drug um where else do they do it the range places like that and obviously they have like their own website um, I don't actually know why this is in here. I didn't not get on with it. This is the I Heart Makeup Palette. Um, I think it is really good for the money. Um, it's literally, I think it's like $7.99, something like that. Really nice pigmented shadows. I just don't reach for it, really. I have better eyeshadows um, that I reach for. 
I'm sorry, can we just talk about that? I wish I did reach for this because it is such a good palette, but I just don't anymore, which is sad. So I think I'm gonna give it to someone who will, and it's like a nice little chocolate, like look of a chocolate bar, and it, yeah, like that. Next one, this is the Ted Baker palette. What caught my eye, I think, was like the copper packaging. And then like all of this and it's Ted Baker. So I thought it was gonna be quite good. Um, but then you open it and it's like, oh. Uh, like there's nothing actually like special about this. Like the colours are weird, like I don't even know what that is. Um, and they aren't that pigmented. They're quite chalky. And then say if I wanted to swatch a Rooney. This is like a really awkward swatch. Like they just go like patchy. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, and they're just weird colours and not that pigmented. And it's just like a, a palette I wouldn't reach for. It reminds me of one of the Naked palettes. I think it's the Naked 2, which is literally all pinks. I mean, it's a lovely palette. Like I said, if you haven't got many eyeshadows and you don't wear that much eyeshadow, but... I've got such good palettes, I've got my Jacqueline here, I've got some Morphe palettes, I've got Violet Voss palettes, I've got Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes, I've got Zoeva palettes, I've got so many different ones, I just wouldn't reach for that, but it's not bad. Some of these products in here are just awful on my face, so carry on. Next are these eyelashes, I got them from, I think these were the Kylie and Lily lashes that I got off of eBay, yes they were. I don't know what style this is because it doesn't tell you when they come on the box or anything. No, it's definitely not written anywhere. These just looked weird on me, like they were the same length the whole way round. I don't know if you will to see, like they were just like really long up there and they were uncomfortable. So I don't know what ones those are so I won't know for next time if I want to do another order. I won't know which ones to order because I don't know which ones they are. I just didn't like them, they look weird on me. The next item is the Rimmel Insta Matte Fix and Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. And this one is in the shade 001 Translucent and it's like the white one. This is their newest one to the edition. Not the Stay Matte that everyone uses. This just came out really white on me. Like it came out white, it gave me a really bad flashback. Um, and it made my skin, like, I'd look at my skin in my mirror and like, I would just see like all like dots and stuff where it broke up on my face. It's like a relationship, just broke apart, broke up, separated, you know, and it just looked weird on me. I do love the other one though, the Rimmel Stay Matte and Transparent. I really do like that, but this just didn't, no, just no. Same with the Rimmel Match Perfection. This is their loose powder. <coughs> <coughs> Looks like a crack cocaine den in here. Oh, it just comes out like pink on me. Is it just me? Because I've seen so many people use this and it looks quite nice. On <coughs> it goes everywhere as well. Um, yeah, it just came out really like pink and like patchy and inconsistent. Like you can even see it on my finger there. So, yeah, and it just looked like on me, basically. So, yeah, I'm going to give that to another home. That was in the shade 001 Transparent. What was that then? Translucent. Oh, don't really know the difference, but, yeah, I'm going to give that to, like, my sister or my mum or something. If it looks nice on them, they can keep it. And, oh, don't get me started on this. I don't even know if they do this anymore, just because I've been putting stuff in this box for literally months. So I don't know if Revlon still do this, but this is the Airbrush Effect Photo Ready Makeup. And this one's in the shade Ivory. This, holy mackerel, looks like absolute poo on me. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out. Basically, I think it's because it's so luminous, they haven't made it dewy. They've actually put like glitter inside it and you can really see it, like it looks like I had chunks, I'm pretty sure it was this one, I'm pretty sure it was this foundation, yeah, yeah it was, you can even see it in the, oh yes you can see it there, 
just there. It had like specks of glitter in. I love a dewy foundation and I love a glowy highlight but not all over my face and it just looked like I'd set my whole face with like a highlight. It just didn't look good. It really didn't look good, especially on the pores. Another product I have, unfortunately, from Revlon as well. Nothing against you gals. This is the weirdest thing in the world. So this is the BB cream, right. In here, in this little gap here, is where the product is. Oh, it's focusing on me. Okay, so that little gap there, the product, you can see it through. Watch this. It's like a slug. And you can see it in the back as well. Oh, I don't know if you can be able to see that. I can only see it through the lights. Listen. This is real life, this is happening. It's oil, like water oil comes out. I know it's only a BB cream and it's not meant to be like the fullest coverage in the world, but really an oil, a watery oil? No, it's not happening. So now what I'm gonna do is put the lid back on and shake it just to show you guys. It's still, like the product just won't come out at all. Try that again. Oh, sounds gross. And then it starts like pooing out. Little tiny bits. Like that. Like, uh, look, I know I've put loads on, but look at how it like, oh guys, look at how it blends. It's like, it's literally like, like what the hell happened to this product? I don't know. But if you send this out and it looks like this, I mean, surely I've got a bad batch or something. Cause that is not normal. I would never put that on my face. Oh, disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. Next, we have concealer. This is the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. It looks like this. I've got mine in the shade Light, um, 01 Ivory. This goes really patchy and like flaky on my under eyes. I'll be blending it out and it will just flake and separate. It's disgusting. Oh my god, I've just put some of that like oily shit on my brush. I don't think it will show you on the back of my hand. No, see, it looks like such a nice product when you do it like that. As soon as I blend it on my under eye, no, it doesn't do it on my it doesn't do it on my hand. As soon as I blend it on my under eye, disgusting. Have to get it off straight away. So. Bourgeois, no my girl. Same with this one. This is the Maybelline Instant Eye Eraser. I love this concealer. This is the neutralizer. So obviously they've got the concealers in like the shade light and nude and they've just brought out the brightener and the neutralizer. I haven't tried the brightener yet. This is just the neutralizer. Um, I tried it the other day and it done exactly the same as that um, Bourgeois one just literally separated and broke up all my skin here like all under here it was just broken up separated had an argument and it literally just scattered all across my face it was disgusting this is the next thing i want to talk about i am mad about this right this is a liquid matte lipstick trust me it's liquid it's a liquid matte it's a lovely color this is by L'Oreal, by the way. Beautiful, nudie, with a purple undertone. This one's in the shade 
113 Invincible Sable. I think that's how you say it. So this is like glue on your lips. I'm not even joking. I pressed, I would do it for this video, but I can't because it's painful. I pressed my lips together, just going like that, and they stuck. And I was like ripping them apart. It comes with a balm on the end, so that does resolve your issues, but then it's not a liquid lipstick, it's like a satin finish. It's like a, just a normal like, not matte but not gloss finish, I think that's what satin means. So, yeah, that's my problem with it. It's a beautiful colour though, so I'm not going to throw it away because I might use it one day and have a gloss over the top, but then I've got so many other lipsticks that look that colour that I can do that with or whatever. Next. This is the Revolution Lip Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Noble. I think Imogen Hudson recommended this so I went out and bought it. Looks like poo on me. It looks cheap. My lips like break up. It like flakes. It looks disgusting on me. I don't know how she pulls it off but she does. It looks disgusting on me and I went into work after I bought it. I just tried it on on my break, went downstairs. Everyone was like, what is that on your lips? And I was like, oh, I just tried it, literally just bought it. And they were like, it looks like cheap, like not in a nasty way. Like me and the girls are always honest with each other. They were like, it looks cheap. And I was like, yeah, I can tell. Like it was, oh, it just it was uncomfortable. It was disgusting to look at. Next one, we have another liquid lipstick. This is the MUA Longwear Matte Finish Lip Lacquer Velvet in the shade Passion, yeah. Passion, no, mother. Like the formula, the only thing that really puts me off and actually gives me a migraine as soon as I open it is the smell, like. It's a lovely smell, but it's so sickly. It's like, it's just so strong. It just gives you an instant headache straight away. So I just, I couldn't. This is the Barium Mats Me Up. Oh. Basically, every time, I've just like shook this up by accident, every time I put this down, it like, it won't do it for a while now, but it like separates, and then like the lipstick separates, and then it goes all oily in the middle and like watery, and you could shake it like that, and like the water would just be like running down, it was disgusting, so it kind of just put me off. Also... <coughs> It smells like gone off yogurt. Like I'd rather have the MUA one than that. It smells like actual gone off yogurt. No, it's definitely not gone off because I haven't had it that long. So Barry M, what are you doing, hun? What are you doing, hun? Love the lip liner though that that came with. Absolutely love it. Next, I have all of these. I was on a hunt for a good um, lip liner, so I went and bought a fair few shades. These are the L'Oreal, let's just put that one up a minute. These are the L'Oreal, these are the old ones, Lip Liner Coutures, I think. And they're like the pencil ones. These aren't the new ones, these are the older ones. I still think they sell them there. Um, these ones here, I love the colours, but, like, the payoff is shocking. Like, really? And also, they hurt my lips. If I'm trying to, like, draw my lips on, it's, like, I feel like I'm, like, dragging my lips with, like, a needle, like I'm tattooing my lips or something. It's just really drying, and, like, the colour isn't there. I don't know what that means. So, that was a bit disappointing, and they just, like, really hurt. Like, I can... Let me go and swatch, like, one of my Collection 2000 lip liners. Do the tiniest swatch. How creamy and pigmented is that? The other ones, they're just like, like that is nice. These are just like you could they just look like crayons. Thank you, Collection 2000. You're welcome. Um so yeah, I was just really disappointed in these, but they look quite nice. Like the packaging I think is really nice on them. But yeah, they just weren't like, I could use these for colouring pencils. Because they're just so bad. I'd you have to wet them? 
know, it's a silky colour, they're not silky at all, hun. Feels like I'm putting a pencil on my lips, like a pencil that I'd write with school. No, just okay. Oh, Revlon, my girl, I'm so sorry for bashing you. The Revlon Foundation Stick. Um, well, it's actually called Photo Ready Insta Fix Stick. Um, makeup, whatever. This separated badly on me. And I mean, like, I put it on, I went for a stage where I was like, obsessed with stick foundations. One, it's not very full coverage, which I kind of expected from a stick, because it's like compact, and then, yeah, like, it's more kind of like a BB cream. But you can't even see it. Um, yeah, and I striped it all over my face. And it just broke up, literally, after 20 minutes of having it on. Like, at least last a couple of hours, had. 20 minutes of having it on, it broke up on my face. So, what can you do with a drunken sailor? Next, we have this product from Max Factor. This is the Natural Brow Styler Sculpting Gel. If they left it at Natural Brow Styler, I would have been like, okay because it does separate your hairs and style your brow however it doesn't gel them down at all like with my benefit one i can put it on and it will not budge this one i'll put it on no matter how long i leave i can leave it two hours go like that and it would literally just go and my brow will just look like crap and i need something that's going to keep my brows stable so this was nice as soon as I put it on, but it's not going to last. It's not going to last you a night out. Someone barges into you, knocks your brow. Those hairs that are stood up, they will be let down. I don't want that. Do you want that? If you want that, go and buy this. But I don't want that. Second to last are these um, Colour Precise Eyeliners by Rimmel. This one's in the shade white and this one's in the shade black. So... This is the white. It's like a washed out white, like you can barely see it. And then this is the black. Sorry? You're not black, you're navy blue. And I love the tip on these, like they have such a nice precise tip. I feel let down. Did I disappoint you or let you down? Would I be feeling guilty? I had the NYX white one, throw it away though because it literally dried up like Tipex on my eyes. Another thing that I'm really mad about though, the Maybelline Colour 24 hour colour tattoo in the shade Creme de Nude. Loads of people use this to prime their, to prime their eyelids with or use them as actual eyeshadows. So I bought this, I think Rachel, <coughs> Rachel Leary uses this to prime her eyelids with. So, obviously, I tried. On my eye, it dried up, it flaked away, it bobbled up. Like, you know, when you've had like leggings for a while and they start to bobble, or like pajama bottoms, or a hoodie and it starts to bobble. That's what happened on my eyeball. It disgusting, it looked absolutely disgusting. Oh, it looked bad, I had to get rid of it. And I just wasn't happy at all. Yeah, so that's everything in my drugstore disappointed product video. Um, let me know down in the comments if you get along with any of these products and how you get along with any of these products, please. And let me know if you don't or what didn't work out for you. And yes, I think that is everything in this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!